Hey there you guys, it is me, Random Josh, and I am back again with another Random Monday video. So today we are going to be doing a little something that I've seen on YouTube quite a little bit and it's called Smash or Pass. So for those of you who've never ever ever seen a Smash or Pass video, I mean, I just, <laughs> really? How have you not seen one? <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness, a smash or pass video is basically I'm going to be going through some people and I'm going to say whether I'd smash them or whether I'd pass on them. So smashing is obviously the good one, passing is meh, not my style, you know? Um, so just to theme it a bit more around myself, I thought I'd do it around some gay celebrities because I thought I'd do a little bit of research into some celebrities who are actually openly gay and it actually like enlightened me to some of them because I wouldn't have even known half of them. I knew a few of them but I was just like, okay. <laughs> so I'm only doing a few today. If you do enjoy this kind of stuff then I may look into doing it as well in the future. And potentially, if you know any people that would love to collab with this kind of stuff then to hell with it I'd do a collab with people in this I think that would be quite fun but anyway so let's jump straight into this with the first person I'm probably gonna put the pictures I don't actually know yet they'll be somewhere on the screen um, I've got my laptop in front of me so I can see so the first person I thought just suited the role so well and it's uh, Neil Patrick Harris um, he's obviously done a lot of work you know around the gay community and he's just such a funny guy <laughs> like I watched a few of the how I met your mother and stuff like that and it's just it's just hilarious <laughs> you know he's a really funny guy and he plays a straight person and he's awesome no I have a lot of love for him and he's fairly attractive for you know his age that's not saying anything like that I'm obviously very very young compared to a lot of these people so you know he's, he's really good looking for his age so I'd say smash so the next on my list of victims is uh, John Barrowman so I grew up watching Doctor Who and seeing John playing um, who is it? I can't even remember what he played. That's really bad. Captain Jack, of course. Captain Jack Harkness. Um, so I grew up kind of watching him and how he was. And I think his character in Doctor Who also had a little bit of a half and half. Is he straight? Is he gay? What is he? You know, he's open, you know, and I liked that. It kind of helped me when I was younger kind of understand a little bit better. Obviously it wasn't you know, fully understanding it, but yeah, it's hard to say, it kind of just helped push along that route of understanding, but again, he is very, very attractive, and especially in his earlier days when I used to watch him, boy, <laughs> so I would say smash, no, I hope I don't smash all of these, I mean, I've picked them out, but you yeah, know, tried to get a mixture of people. Okay then, so the next is a, is it Glee Boy? Yeah, he's a Glee Boy. Um, and it is Chris Colfer. I don't even know if I've said that right, that's really bad. Chris Colfer. Um, I never really watched Glee, I never really got into Glee. <laughs> I'm not a Gleek, you know, um, but He's, he's cute, but I wouldn't say he's particularly my type of person, to be honest, in the nicest way possible. But no, he seems like a really nice person. I don't actually know much about him, other than the fact that he's in Glee. Um, but yeah, he, he seems really cute, but <laughs> not my style. So, pass. Sorry, boo. So, yeah, the next person is Andrew Hayden Smith. 
Now, I've recognised him from a lot of things like on CBBC when I was a child, and he was also in Doctor Who for a little bit. He was just like a kind of side character who did a lot of different things in there. But yeah, kind of growing up again, he seemed the very kind of masculine type. So again, you wouldn't put two and two together personally. And he's actually recently just been in Hollyoaks. He's still in Hollyoaks. I don't watch Hollyoaks all the time, but sometimes I do watch Hollyoaks. Because there are some attractive people in Hollyoaks. You know. <laughs> what can I say? But yeah, he's always kind of been the very masculine type and yeah, he's got a body. A very nice body. <laughs> So I would probably have to say Smash. <laughs> so the next is actually an absolute legend, legend, and that is Sir Ian McKellen. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a big fan of X-Men and he is obviously such a huge character in X-Men. He is Magneto. Like, hello, Magneto, <laughs> the beast. Um, yeah, he's, again, I didn't realize this until I actually looked him up and then I was like, oh, he's gay. Oh, like, I don't know why, but sometimes things like that just shock you and you're just like, really? Okay. <laughs> I mean, unless people openly say it, in front of you it's often a lot of people like me just don't actually know and you don't want to guess either because sometimes people get really offended at that kind of stuff but I wouldn't have guessed for him um yeah he's really really awesome and I love like I said I love X-Men and I love his character in X-Men he plays such a hard character who's like kind of the mix between good and evil and that just I mean he's evil but he's also got a little bit of good in him, you know. If you don't watch X-Men, watch X-Men because it's freaking legendary. Um, again, he's a little bit out of my age range. He's like triple, quadruple my age. In the nicest way possible, you're still awesome and I love you to pieces, but pass. Okay, so the next on my list is Adam Lambert. So he's obviously a very, very well-known gay person who is actually a singer and songwriter. I've probably listened to his music without realizing, but I'm not gonna shout out and say, oh my God, I'm the biggest fan because I'm not, you know. I listen to a lot of different music and I don't count myself as fans of all of them just because my tastes really change <laughs> rapidly, so I will go from one genre to another, to another, to another, and it will be kind of a huge circle of crap. So, he seems like a fun guy. Very into his makeup and stuff, which is, which is cool. I'm obviously not opposed to makeup, because I've done a drag look. I have makeup myself, just don't use it on a daily basis, because I'm natural beauty. <laughs> Obviously. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't go out the lip my limb and say that he's my type at all. So unfortunately, it is a pass. The next on my list is a legend. I keep saying everyone's a legend. Like, I, <laughs> I think everyone is a legend to me. But it is the one and only. RuPaul Andre Charles So yeah RuPaul oh my god slay my life in both male and female versions fucking Jesus honestly I just I'm, I mean I'm in love with RuPaul because I never know whether to say he or she but I'ma say he for now um his show is Obviously RuPaul's Drag Race, his show, RuPaul's Drag Race, is absolutely amazing. And it was only of the last year that I've actually started watching it, which is really bad. But, like, I think it was basically because 
my old head of sixth form openly admitted to the entire sixth form that she watched RuPaul's Drag Race. And I was like, honey, this is a Christian school. <laughs> this is like Church of England school. I was like, girl, slay. And then that kind of got it ticking in my head. I was like, actually, I might just watch it once. So I watched what like one episode and then I couldn't stop myself. So I ended up, I've watched like every single one now, basically. And, oh my God, it just gets to me, you know, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, in both male and female form, <laughs> that sounds so weird. But yeah, male and female forms, RuPaul slays the damn it game. For your age, honey, 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 honey. <laughs> You slay. You slay my life. You slay my heart. I cannot help. I can't. I just can't. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to say pa. Uh, pass? What? What? I was meant to say smash then. I would probably smash you because, I mean, you're female for, I feel like you're like a sister to me more than anything, but, or mother. Mother. Call me mother. Anyway, yeah, smash. Moving on. Oh, oh. I can't even like begin on this one. It has to be Colton Haynes. So I think it was recently that he actually came out as gay and he's actually now married. If I'm correct or engaged I think they're just are they engaged or are they married I can't actually remember I know that they definitely were engaged at least but whether they've got married I can't remember but honestly like growing up <laughs> me and my friends all used to just like salivate over Colton Haynes <laughs> so gross but like, I was friends with obviously a lot of girls and they all thought he was really attractive as well. And I was like, yeah, he's an attractive straight person, you know, it's what's new, out of my range, you know. And then he came out as gay and I was just like, <laughs> fucking drops everything. What the hell? <laughs> Honestly, slay my heart. And Colton Haynes just really does seem like a really genuine, lovely guy. So I absolutely love him to pieces, so obviously I'm gonna have to say smash because honey, 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 you know, you're awesome and I love you to pieces. So the final one on my list is Jonathan Bennett. Now I don't know about all of you guys, but as my childhood, I grew up watching, like one of my favourite childhood films was Mean Girls. <laughs> if that wasn't a fucking early flag that I was gay, I don't know what it was. <laughs> um, but obviously, I'm sure most of you have probably watched Mean Girls. You will know that he is the main love interest of the main character, which is Katie Heron. I almost forgot her name. I haven't watched Mean Girls in so long, I might have to watch that. But yeah, so he is Aaron Samuels and there is a lot of like flingy stuff going on. And obviously he's just like the main male character. He's very attractive in that. So I think a lot of gay kids growing up, watching that film, he would probably be your first love, you know? And obviously growing up again, you, th you go through that thing of he plays a straight character, he's probably straight recently I find out he's gay. I'm like, honey, drops everything. What is going on? <laughs> Why are all these straight people coming gay? I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But it just, and obviously I'm not saying straight people turning gay, because they probably are always gay, but they've just not shown that to the world, which is totally cool. And yeah, he's super, super attractive, I must say. Very, very, very attractive. And just because you were like the first crush that I probably had, I'd say smush. Double click for you, honey, because fuck. 
Um, yeah, I just smash, just straight up smash. Like, marry me later, just smash now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I really, really think he's attractive, and he's awesome, he's a really cool guy. I have actually seen Cake Wars once or twice, I think, and yeah, he hosts that, so I was like, oh girl, because like, it came on to my TV and I was just like, I recognise that guy, and it said Jonathan Bennett, so I googled him, and I was like, Aaron Samuels, yes queen, <laughs> yes. And then, yeah. But anyway, you guys, I think I've droned on long enough about my loves, you know. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know. And if there's any people that you'd like to add to the next Smash Up Pass list, then definitely let me know. Because I'd love to do this again. And I'd love to do this with a guest as well. It's just a struggle of finding a guest. You know but yeah so like I say all the time thank you so much for joining me this week and I will see you in the next video peace out bitches